Welcome to Hindsight Tonight. I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, summer is still a ways off, but things are already heating up in Tennessee, where two Democratic state senators were expelled by a Republican-majority House of Representatives after they spoke out of turn and led a huge protest over the school shooting deaths of six people in Nashville last month. Those lovable Gen Zers turned out in droves to make sure not only their voices were heard, but also their snoring. Here they are, pretending to be dead. They're not called Gen Z for nothing. You know, they do this every week anyway, just to celebrate bare minimum Monday. Now, Tennessee will have to fill those vacancies with a special election. But get this, the two dismissed lawmakers, Justin Pearson and Justin Jones, according to state law, can run again for those seats. And if elected, they cannot be removed for disorderly behavior a second time. Now that's Nashville hot. It's also getting hot, well, I guess everywhere. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the surface temperature of the ocean broke the all-time record this month, reaching an average of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists say that this increases the risk for extreme and unusual weather across the globe, including violent storms and tornadoes. Tornadoes? <laughs> Surely you jest. They don't have tornadoes in America, right? Like, gosh, the last one must have been back in 1939 near Topeka. You remember that one? Still not hot enough for you? Well, how about this? Vanity Fair has finally blown the doors off the rumor that Brooke Shields has now confirmed. Americans can sleep just a little easier tonight knowing that, yes, John F. Kennedy Jr. was a great kisser. Shields is promoting her new Hulu documentary and confirmed the spectacular smooch when asked by Howard Stern. I guess it's noteworthy that Brooke Shields hasn't been the slightest bit relevant in the last 35 years for anyone to bother asking her this question before. I mean, she's still less popular than John John, and he's been dead for 24 years. According to Shields, she went on a date with Kennedy, then went back to his hotel, but didn't go into his room with him because she knew what that would mean. Wait a minute, there's no etchings up in here. Nothing comes between me and my Calvin's kid, Camelot. Geez, Brooke, I know it was like 1987, but even then, everyone knew this guy's dad and grandpa were both awarded all-time misogynistic horn dog medals of honor. It's like a movie, Sleeping with the Kennedy. Shield said that if she had given her VJ to JJ on that fateful night, he'd never talk to her again. So she turned him down and went home, and guess what? He never talked to her again. You see, Brooke, Marilyn said yes and let Daddy into her Oval Office and, well, well, never mind. I guess that didn't work out so well for her either. Learn from the new generation, Brooke. The next time you're feeling pressured and scared, do what Gen Z and your career is doing. Just play dead. And that's your news. Have a great week. Don't forget to like us and subscribe. And I'll see you next Sunday with Fresh Hot Sight.